everyone, it's me again, and today we are focused on our writing lessons. Now you have been doing an absolutely awesome job of sending me your super sentences and um, self-correcting and marking your work. So let's keep that up for our final few lessons of this half term. Okay, so that's on to my superstar of the day, and today I've chosen Ben. I've shown an example here of Ben's work where you can see that he's carefully writing the sentences using numbers in the margin. What I like about Ben's work here is I can see evidence of him self-correcting. So where he thinks something's not right, he's put a line through it or crossed it out, and then he's corrected his writing. I can also see that he's used the um, mastery checks at the bottom of his page so after he'd completed his paragraph of writing he's gone through and ticked off each of the mastery checks so ben you're awesome and our superstar for today okay so our first activity for this lesson is to fix up the sentences so that they tell what the person did you should be quite familiar with this task now we've done it for a few lessons in a row so let's read through the sentences and then you can have a go at correcting them. Sentence one says, she is riding a horse. This sentence at the moment is written in the present tense. We want to change it to the past to tell what the person did. So instead of is riding, we want to find a word that tells um, what happened in the past tense. I can look at the words at the bottom of the screen held, painted, rode, stood, talked and washed. And I'm looking for which one of them re will replace the phrase is riding in this sentence. Okay, just point at your screen and point out the word that you think should go in this sentence. Okay, well done. You should have pointed out the word here, rode. Okay. So she rode a horse. Let's have a look at sentence two. The girls were talking loudly. Okay. What word should replace um, were talking in that sentence? Point at it on your screen. And let's have a go at saying it out loud. The girls were talking loudly. Say that sentence so that it tells what the person did. I'm going to count you down for this. Are you ready? Three, two, one. The girls... Good. Your sentence should have sounded like this. The girls talked loudly. Let's do one more before it's over to you to write your sentences. The men are painting the room. Okay, in this sentence, which words do I want to change? Yes, I want to change the words are painting. So, which word would I replace it with from the bottom box? Can you point at it and say it out loud? Good. Painted. So now let's say the sentence together. The men are painting the room would become the men painted the room. Let's say it together. Three, two, one. The men painted the room. So each what time I want you to write the sentence so it tells me what the person did. Pause the video and complete sentences one to six now, please. Okay, before we go on then, I want to make sure that you've definitely done sentences one to six and that you have checked each one starts with a capital letter and each sentence ends with a full stop. Grab yourself a different colour pen and let's mark. Okay, so sentence one should say, she rode a horse. 
Give yourself a tick if you got that one right. Sentence two should say, the girls talked loudly. Give yourself a tick if you got that one right. Sentence three, the men painted the room. Sentence four, he held the baby. Sentence five, she stood on a chair. And sentence six, they washed the windows. Finally, give yourself whoop, a mark out of six. Are you ready for our next task? Let's go. So today I want you to practice writing sentences using the pronouns he, she, it or they. Remember, a pronoun replaces a noun in a sentence and a noun is the name of a person, place or object. Let's have a look at the task. A cat and a dog made a mess. OK, so I want you to replace the phrase here, a cat and a dog, with a pronoun. Would it be he, she, it or they? Which one do you think is correct? So I want you to write it in here. I might say, they made a mess. OK. The girls went to school. He, she, it or they. Which word would go here? OK. We can't say she because there is more than one girl. So they would also be correct. OK, they went to school. I would like you to go through now each of the sentences from one to five and write them out using the correct pronoun. Can you pause the video please and complete that task now? OK, super. It's now time to mark. If you haven't yet finished those sentences, make sure you've pressed pause. If you are ready, grab yourself a different coloured pen and let's go. OK, so your sentences should look like this. They made a mess. Give yourself a tick. They went to school. She was very pretty. It was very was it was bright red. He came home late. Before you give yourself a mark out of five, please check you've got a capital letter for the start of a sentence and a full stop at the end of each one. Once you've done that, you can give yourself a mark out of five. Super. OK, so the final activity today is our extension task. This will be a worksheet that's attached to show my homework. The worksheet will show you four pictures. I'd like you to write a sentence that reports on what happened in each picture. Altogether, you should have at least four sentences and those sentences will be written as one paragraph. You need to practice what we've learned here. So write your sentences that tell the main thing that each person or object did. So what happened in the past? When you've written your paragraph, 
you can complete checks 1, 2 and 3. Don't forget, as we would in class, when we want to do one of our checks, we put a box underneath our work, number it number 1, and when we've completed the activity and we've done our check, in this case, did you start with a capital letter and end with a full stop? At the end of our writing, when we've checked our work, we can tick it off. And we do the same for check 2. And for check 3. So when you've completed your work today, come back to the video and we'll just go through and mark. Okay, so if you've come back for the final bit, Year 7, I hope that is to mark your extension writing. It was extension writing because sometimes it takes some of us longer to complete tasks and sometimes some of us, uh, you know, write a little bit more quickly and that's absolutely fine. So if you did finish before your 50, uh, 45 minutes were up, I want you to make sure you've completed the activity that's on Show My Homework. and that you've come back here to check your answers. So check one. Did you start with a capital letter and end with a full stop? You need to check that in all four of your sentences. Do that now before you give yourself a tick in the box. Check two. Does each sentence name a person and tell what they did? Make sure you check your sentences before you give yourself a tick in that box. And check three. I want to know, did you use some of the words from the vocabulary box today? If you didn't, you might want to have a look at what they are and see if you can add some in. Once you have used some words from the vocabulary box, you can give yourself a tick for check three. Excellent work Year 7, really well done for today and I'll see you next lesson.